Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor video series. In this video, I'll show you how you can create animated hero session in Elementor website without any coding or without installing any extra plugin. Here I have created hero section and if I move the cursor, you will see all the elements on this hero section are moving. They are basically tracking the mouse. So I have used the mouse tracker effect. You will see this rocket and the text are moving towards the mouse. You will also see the tilt effect to the text. And if I scroll down, you will see the text is increasing the size. So this is basically the scrolling effect that I have used. I have created another hero section here. Here I have a title and an image of camel. And if I move the cursor, you will see the camel and the text both are moving. Both are moving in the opposite direction. In this example also, I have used the mouse tracker effect in Elementor. So I'm not installing any third party plugin or any extra code. So let's see how we can create animated hero section in Elementor. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and I'm using Elementor and Elementor Pro plugin on this website. This is a demo page and I do not have anything on this page. Now we are going to create hero section and in that section we are going to use animations, scroll effect and the mouse tracker effect. So let's click on the plus sign and select the flex box or any section. This is a single column section. Let's select the section and at the top go to style settings here. We are going to add background video for this one. Before that, I'm going to increase the height of this section. I'm going to use minimum height section. You will see layout. Under layout, you will see minimum height. Change the pixel to a viewport and here enter number 100. So it's going to take 100% of the viewport height. So you will see the height of this section has been increased. Let's go to style settings. And for the background, we are going to use a video. I already have one video uploaded let me go to media library and you will see one video that is a space video if you have any video from youtube or any other source then you can add the link of that video in this case i have one space video already uploaded to the wordpress website and this is the link for the video so i have copied the link let's go to the page again go to style settings and for the background type we are going to select a video Okay, and here enter the link of the video and you will see the video is there as a background. Okay, you can also adjust the start time and the end time. If you want this video to be played once, you can enable this option. Play on mobile, enable this option so it will play on the mobile also. Privacy mode, if you want privacy mode, you can enable privacy mode. You can also add a fallback image there in case if the video does not play, it will show a fallback image so in this case i can also upload an image of a space as a fallback background if you also want to add background overlay you can also add background overlay color you will see background overlay color here all right i'm not going to add any background overlay color so let's reset it all right so we don't need to make any changes here this is the background video playing here you will see it here okay now in this container, we are going to add three columns. So click on plus sign and add one more container here. And the, for the direction, select the horizontal direction. And inside this container, we are going to add three columns. That means we are going to add three more containers, right? So this is the first container. Right click on it, click on add new container. Right click on it and click on add new container. So we have three columns here inside the main container. So let's select the section again, and I want it in the center. So I'm going to select the layout and make it center align, align items to the center. So the so whatever you are going to add inside these columns will remain at the center align. So click on the plus sign in the first column. And in this column, I want to add an image, let's say. So I'm going to drag and drop the image here and I have already uploaded some images. So I'm going to select one of these images. 
So this is an image of a rocket. Let's go to style settings here and let's change the width so that it will not be too big. All right, so this height looks good to me. Let's go to the third column and in that also I'm going to add image. So select the image. So this is the image that I have uploaded here. All right, so we have two images here and in the central column I'm going to add some heading. So let's select the heading and let's add the heading. Welcome to this space. Let's go to style settings, central align it and go to typography. I'm going to change the font. Let's use this one and let's increase the size to let's say 80 pixel. Or let's make it 100 pixel and change the color also. Let's make it white. All right, so this one also looks good. Let's change the size again, 150. That looks too big. Let's make it to 120. All right, so we have three items here, two images and one heading section. Okay, if you want to add more items, you can also add more items. Now click on the first item and we are going to add some effect to this item. Let's go to advanced settings here and you will see motion effect, click on it. First of all, I'm going to add entrance effect entrance animation so you will see many different entrance animations let's say zoom in this is how it will look zoom down this is how it will look so you can play with the animations so i'm going to use this one this one looks good we have added entrance animation to this one now let's add mouse effect here you will see an option here mouse effects and there are two different options mouse track and 3d tilt so let's click on the mouse track edit option and you will see direction will be opposite speed let's make it 3 or 3.5 so if you increase the speed it will cover more distance all right so it will go away from the mouse you will see it here if i make it 6 you will see the distance is increased all right so let's make it 4 and the direction is opposite. If you change it to direct, it will follow the mouse cursor. All right, so I'm going to keep it as a direct. Below that, you will see 3D tilt. Let's make it opposite and let's change the speed. So there will be slight tilt animation to the image. You, it's actually negligible. We do not see that much effect on the image. So leave it as it is. We have two animations here, mouse track and 3D tilt. Let's go to the image here. Go to advanced settings again. Motion effect. Let's add entrance animation. I'm going to make it slide down. Okay, let's go to mouse effects. Mouse track. Let's make it opposite and change to, let's say three. You will see both the images are moving now. All right, and uh, let's add 3D tilt. All right, so leave it as it is. Now let's go to the text item here. Go to advanced settings. Go to motion effect. Let's add entrance animation. Let's make it zoom in. And for the mouse effect, I'm going to use the mouse track. Let's make it and 3d tilt okay you will see the tilt animation for this text properly all right now we are going to add scrolling effect also for this text only so let's enable the scrolling effect and for the vertical scroll i want to increase i want to increase the speed you will see scrolling effect for the vertical if i scroll up you will see it is going up Let's make it down. So if I scroll up, you will see the text is going down. So this is the scrolling effect. We can also increase the size of the text when we scroll down. So you will see an option here. Scale up, scale down, scale down up. So I'm going to select scale up. So it will increase the scale or the size of the font. You will see this is the font. If I scroll down, the font will increase for this text. So this is the scroll effect. All right, so we have got the effects here. Let's click on publish and let's click on a view page. Okay, so if I scroll here, you will see 
now the animation here all the elements are tracking the mouse and you will also see tilt effect for the content here these two elements are following the mouse and this image is going in opposite direction right let's add one more example here let's go back to the demo page and let's add one more section here do the same thing change the minimum height to vh make it 100 percent so it's going to take the 100 percent of the of view port okay and let's go to style settings and let's add background image i have one background image already so i'm going to select that one image resolution will be full position will be let's say center center attachment will be scroll no repeat and cover all right so it is going to cover the entire background now in this column i'm going to add an image so let's click on the plus sign here and let's select the image drag and drop it here i have an image of camel so you will see an image of camel here let's change the size let's make it small all right and let's go back to the section here i want this camel to be at the end of the other section so let's go to layout select to the end and let's make it to the start all right let's change the size again to the image of the image it is in percentage i'm going to make it pixel now the position of the camel is in the bottom left hand corner so you need to play with the settings of this section and you can select the position where you want this item to be placed so we have it at the end and to the start horizontally it is start all right now let's add one more element let's add heading here drag and drop it and let's say welcome all right let's increase the size let's change the font and increase the size and let's make it center align let's go to advance and align self will be let's say center go to advance again and let's add motion effect to the text scroll effect let's change it to down and let's increase the size also okay let's go to mouse effect mouse track will be let's say opposite let's increase the speed and 3d tilt i'm going to increase the 3d tilt also all right let's go to entrance animation and let's change the entrance animation let's say bounce all right a rubber band let's go to image and do the same thing go to advanced go to motion effect let's add mouse tracking in the direction will be direct and 3d tilt let's add 3d tilt also and entrance animation let's say up slide in up all right so this is how to look let's change it to six and for this one let's change the mouse tracker speed to all right so you will need to play with the numbers let's click on publish let's go to the page refresh it let's scroll down all right and you will see camel there and this is a moving camel it is actually tracking the mouse so in this case i have used only the title and image if you want to add description or more items to the hero section you can add that also so using the mouse tracker and the scroll effect you can create a moving hero section on your elementor website so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video thanks for watching quick tips